So my mother actually won tickets on the radio station to a T. Graham Brown concert, and she asked me to go. And uh, Kevin came up to me and asked if I'd like to dance. There was a chemistry between us instantly, and we danced probably the best we ever danced was on that one night. He's just a fun guy. He's just really a strong, loving man who wants to be with his family all the time. Growing up, my dad was just this incredibly charismatic person, and I always really admired that about him. He was very funny and charming, which is why my mom fell in love with him. Really, it started in about 2012. He was skipping things, missing things, um, missing appointments. So in 2014, he actually lost his job because he wasn't performing as he should be. So we went to a, a neurologist that our doctor referred us to at that time. They did a little mini mental on Kevin in the office. It's a basic test of just some, some items on there that they ask simple questions. And it was a struggle for Kevin. And I think it hit me at that moment that there's absolutely a neurological issue going on here. So I asked him, okay, well, do you want us to come in? And he said, no, um, we'll just wait. Just go ahead and pick up the prescription. Um, and then, you know, we'll go from there. So we were just handed a prescription and sent on our way and basically left on our own with no support. I didn't tell Kevin then. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be the person that had to share that information with him. So I kept it to myself. I thought it would be better once we actually got in front of a doctor that would talk to us both and, and you know, look at us and see us as not just, oh, yep, that's what it is, and here's your prescription. I think there are very few resources, unfortunately, for most families. And many families, even if they are able to find uh, an appropriate doctor, a, a wonderful physician, they're still faced with that diagnose and adios type of approach. That's not where the care stops. Um, that's really where it just begins. So that's when our team swoops in, people who are trained in helping you to understand what you should be doing beyond the medication. From the moment our doctor walked into the office with us on our first visit, he sat with us and just was caring. He, he saw us and saw our situation and saw this young man. So going to Barrows, and right away, the doctor giving us a diagnosis, talking to us about options, clinical trials, um, support groups, all of that. It, it was night and day. There are over five million Americans right now that are affected by Alzheimer's disease. And by 2050, we estimate that there are going to be 16 million Americans. In looking at Celebrity Fight Night and what it allows us to do, how it motivates the community, it's vital for our work. Uh, the majority of what we do, our care model, is not covered by insurance. This is why you do not see it everywhere. Every day, you know, you see a change and you see a little bit of him. Fade away. And it's just hard because you, you know him and you know the fun, vibrant, loud, laughing guy that he is. We were at the, one of the walks for the Alzheimer's Association, and uh, they were doing this thing where they hold up the white flower, and the white flower means the first survivor. And it's kind of at that moment that I realized it's probably probably not going to be him, and that was really hard to realize that like he's not going to get to see me into my 30s and trying to make him proud.
Barrows has a, a family care consultant that's made available to families that have received the diagnosis of Alzheimer's or any other um, memory disorder. I can call her, come in and visit with her. Kevin could as well if he would like to, um, just to be our advocate. Just to be able to know there's someone there that's available to you to talk to and who understands what's taking place what's going on and what we're dealing with every day because everyone that sees us thinks it's just fine they're fine they're just a normal you know happy fun couple <laughs> but they don't see all the day-to-day -day stuff and so it's nice to have that support from Barrow and we're just so thankful for the generosity of the community and the support of the donors that make the help that we're receiving from Barrows available. Sounds like you picked the right one to pursue on the dance floor. Yes, <laughs> yes I did. Yes, he did. <laughs>